In this brand new video, you will now discover another data type, tuples. Be sure to stick around, and watch until the end of this video, if you want to discover various actions and methods that you can perform on tuples, and practice with an exercise. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Iterating through a tuple. Tuple is a very useful and a widely used data structure. As a Python developer, you will often be in situations where you will need to iterate through a tuple, while you perform some actions on its items. Fortunately, the most common way to iterate through a tuple, is with a for loop. For instance, for item in my tuple, print item, will iterate throughout all the items of my tuple, and print out each item, red, green and blue. This works well if you only need to read the items of a tuple. But, if you want to update them, you need the indexes. A common way to do that, is to use the enumerate function. For instance, this loop iterates through the tuple, unpack the index and value of the current item, on each iteration, and print out each item with its associated index. If you do not know how to use the range function nor how the enumerate function works, please check out the suggested video about Python for loops. Eventually, you may also want to find how many items a tuple has. In that case, you do not have to iterate through the entire tuple and count each item, but simply use the function len which returns the number of items inside your tuple. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment. And share.